Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations? f of n multiplied by f of 1 over 1 minus n equals n minus 1 divided by n. To solve this problem, let's start with solutions. We want to find f of n. Let's say we replace n with 1 divided by 1 minus n. So that is the first one here changed to 1 over 1 minus n. And let's see what this 1 over 1 minus n will change to. So from here, we have 1 divided by 1 minus n, which equals 1 over 1 minus 1 divided by 1 minus n. Then we have 1 divided by 1 we multiply 1 minus n and we have 1 minus n then minus 1 we multiply 1. We have it as minus 1 divided by 1 minus n. This equals 1 divided by plus 1 minus 1 cancelled and we have only minus n divided by 1 minus n and by flipping this we are going to have minus will come up and uh, 1 minus n will also comes up and that one gives us n minus 1 divided by n so that's what we are going to have for the whole of this side then after having this, let's consider the other part, which is n minus 1 divided by n. We try and replace every single n with 1 divided by 1 minus n. And doing that, we are going to have n, which is 1 divided by 1 minus n, then minus 1. If I put this in brackets and I say divided by over n, that's going to be 1 divided by 1 minus n. Then we have to multiply 1 minus n with minus 1 as we have 1 minus open bracket 1 minus n divided by 1 minus n. All this in brackets. Then divided by 1 divided by 1 minus n. When we expand this, we open this out, we are going to have n. So minus 1, we cancel plus 1. And minus, we multiply minus, it becomes plus. n divided by 1 minus n. Here is division. Then it's changed to multiplications by flipping it. Then we have 1 minus n divided by 1. So after having this, we see that 1 minus n cancelled 1 minus n, and we have only n. That is, the whole of the other side, it gives us n. Therefore, when we replace it, we have f of 1 divided by 1 minus n, then multiply by f of n minus 1 over n, everything equals n. So this is what we have for this one, and uh, I'm going to call this one equation 2, while I name the first one equation 1, which is this. So if I name this one equation 1, I'm going to name the next one uh, the equation 2. Again, the first part here, I replace n with 1 divided by 1 minus n. So because we have 1 over 1 minus n here. So if I come back to the other side here, which I just got, I want to replace every single n with n minus 1 divided by n. And we are going to see the reason why I'm doing this. Let's get into that one. We have equation 1 here, and uh, we have gotten equation 2 when we replace every single n with 1 over 1 minus n. 
again i want to be replacing n with n minus 1 divided by n and this is also coming back to our equation 1 not equation 2 so therefore we are going to have this one which is 1 divided by 1 minus n we are going to be replacing that one with n minus 1 divided by n so here we have 1 divided by 1 minus open bracket n minus 1 divided by n. Then we are going to expand this. When we expand, we have n times 1. That gives us 1 over n minus n plus 1 divided by n. So, plus n minus n cancelled, and we have 1 divided by 1 over n, which gives us n. And similarly, when we consider the other part, which is n minus 1 over n, we are going to replace it with n minus 1 divided by n. Then we have, then we are going to have the first n here changed to n minus 1 over n then minus 1. So if I put this in bracket, then divided by n, which is n minus 1 divided by n. So this equals, if I multiply this n by 1, we are going to have n minus 1 minus n divided by n, then divided by n minus 1 over n plus n minus n cancelled and we have only minus 1 over n then division here change to multiplication then we flip this here is n divided by n minus 1 if n and n cancelled we have here as minus 1 divided by n minus 1 well minus 1 divided by n minus 1 if we change this negative down we are going to have 1 divided by 1 minus n. So therefore, we have another equation now. So the all of the other parts of this right hand side, it gives us 1 divided by 1 minus n. And uh, for the first one, we are going to have... So after substituting, we are going to have all these three equations. But there was a slight mistake above, so this is going to be minus n. But what we are going to see here is, we have f of n here, here is f of n. We have f of 1 over 1 minus n, this is also 1 over 1 minus n. And we have n minus 1 over n, this is also n minus 1 over n. So let's multiply everything together. So if you multiply everything together, so we are going to have f of n, then multiply by f of 1 divided by minus n, then multiply by f of n minus 1 over n. But all of them, they repeated. So everything will be raised to the power of 2 equals, then we also multiply the other side, which gives us n minus 1 over n, then multiply by minus n, multiply by minus 1 over n minus 1. So this is what we are going to have. So from here, we have n minus 1 cancelled n minus 1. Then n cancelled n. Minus 1 times 1, minus 1, that is plus 1. So upon having this, we are now going to have f of n multiplied by f of 1 over 1 minus n multiplied by f of n minus 1 over n all raised to the power of 2 equals 1 and uh, when we take the square root of both sides we are going to see this as plus or minus but since we need to find f of n as the general values let's look at something here we have this one as f of 1 divided by 1 minus n and this is n minus 1 over n which everything here is in equation 2 and we are going to replace it with minus n. So by replacing this one with minus n, we have f of n 
multiply by minus n then all raised to power 2 equals 1. So having 1, let's take the square root of both sides. We have minus n multiplied by f of n equals plus or minus 1. So when we take the square root, we have plus or minus 1. And we go for the positive part of this, we have 1 as minus n f of n equals 1. So therefore, when we divide both sides, we are going to have f of n equals minus 1 over n. So here is the first solutions for the f of n. And if you look at the second part, which is for the minus 1, we are going to see that our f of n is given as 1 over n. So we have the negative here and then we have the positive here. So this is how we solve this problem. So sorry for the mistake above. So see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.